What's going on YouTube? So with today's video, I'm going to give you six great hoodie fragrances. Now you have heard of white t-shirt and jeans fragrances. Well, I want to give you six great fragrances that you can wear just for wearing a hoodie. So just a day where you just want to chill and relax and just wear this, all right? And what I'm wearing, I'm representing the ends. This actually came from Bishop Briganti, battle rap legend who's from Toronto. He's been in the scene for like 20 years. If you want to check him out, check out his links out. will be down in the description box below. This is a free plug. I love the guy's music and this is such an incredible, comfortable hoodie, all right? So first fragrance is actually gonna be Eugler's Pure Havana. This stuff is just phenomenal. You're gonna get honey, vanilla, uh, your typical patchouli, there's tobacco, but it's a cherry-like tobacco, cacao, and labdamum. This stuff is just so good. Oh yeah, like tobacco, that cherry, that cherry-like tobacco, the sweetness from the vanilla and the honey, that typical patchouli during the dry down. That, that patchouli is in all the Mueglers. I could easily see Bishop rocking this one. He's got the beard, he's got a cigar in his hand every now and then. So this definitely is just a phenomenal fragrance. Longevity of this beauty is nine to 10 hours. Fragrance number two, Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. Pull the pin and there you go. Oh, this stuff, fantastic. Came out in like 2012 or 2013. Heavy in nutmeg, cinnamon, saffron. You're gonna get some leather, some, some tobacco, but also some, uh, some vanilla. This stuff is super spicy. It's warm, it's inviting, it's semi-sweet, and with a nice leather. Um, there's, a, I actually got it wrong. There's no nutmeg, but there is paprika, according to the note breakdown. But it's just an overabundance of warm spices. Very inviting Spice Bomb. They got so many flankers. This one here and Spice Bomb Extreme, the best. But this one here, this is perfect on a cold day like today. It's like minus 18 degrees Celsius right now. So perfect hoodie fragrance along with just doing nothing. So longevity, eight to 10 hours. Fragrance number three, I find that this is actually gonna be best suited for the young guys. But if you're an older guy like myself, I'll be 45 in a few months. But the brand itself, Diesel's Only the Brave Tattoo. This stuff actually is kind of decent. It's got a really nice red apple note. It's got woods, benzoin, tobacco, and pepper. It's a sweet, ambery, woody tobacco scent. To me, the smell itself smells of like, you know, student, like high school, university, but also just night out. Not a club, but like a date night, a casual date night. And it does have some sex appeal. Like that apple note really does add a nice inviting touch. And then the, during the dry down, you get that, that tobacco, really nice scent overall. Longevity off this, eight to nine hours. Fragrance number four, definitely gonna have to have this one in. Mercedes-Benz Select Night. So this stuff here is gonna be my favorite in this list, as well as this one here. But this stuff, mm. There's lavender, cardamom, orange blossom, vanilla, and three different types of woods. It's just heavy in cardamom, vanilla, lavender with that woods, but also that orange blossom. The orange blossom does give it a little bit of a white floral feel, but it's not overly feminine. This is a gentleman's fragrance that's ageless. I would say more university all the way to a grandfather. It has also a lot of resemblance to Tom Ford Noir Extreme. This is way cheaper and it lasts just as long. Tom Ford Wachstrom, phenomenal fragrance, but you're paying for that name as well. Mercedes-Benz is a very, well the cars are expensive, but their fragrances are quite economical, quite affordable. And this is an eau de parfum concentration with amazing performance, 10 plus hours. Fragrance number five, if you want something a little bit more classy than Burberry's London. This stuff is great on a day like today as well. Cinnamon, leather, opoponax, lavender, gaiac wood, and tobacco leaf. So there's like a dry like tobacco, loads of woods, and some warm spices to it. This came out in like, I think it was 2006 or 2008, somewhere around there. And I came into this community in 2011, just watching, and then when I started reviewing, or just came into the YouTube aspects in 2013, it was popular back then. Then over the years, it kind of lost a little bit of momentum, and it really wasn't mentioned all that much. 
but in the last couple of years it started getting a little bit more mentioned and I think it was a classic then and it's still phenomenal now. This stuff really does get a, need to get a lot more praise. The longevity is not the best, but it's really not that bad. I get six to seven hours. Just reapply as the day goes by. And fragrance number six, Zegna's Forte. If you like Armani coat without the price tag, this is something that you're gonna like. It doesn't smell identical, identical to code, but it goes along the code route with the tobacco, with the tonka bean, with the lavender. But it's got ginger, different citruses, it's also got amber, and what makes it unique is the Honey Accord. The Honey Accord sweetens it up a little bit, and it's a nice, silky, smooth honey. The tonka itself already adds some sweetness to it, but the tonka, but the, the honey, I should say, sorry, adds a little bit something extra. So if you want exactly like something that smells more along the lines of code, then Xenia's Intenso is very similar. But this goes along the lines and it does smell quite similar to my nose. Just add some honey, but great scent. It's sexy, it's warm, it's inviting. The lady's gonna like this one on you. And it's not all that expensive. You're gonna spend about 40, 45 bucks Canadian. Longevity off this is gonna be six to eight hours. So guys, I just gave you six great hoodie fragrances that you could rock in the fall, but also winter time. Again, it's a cold day today. It's cloudy and it's sunny, so you might have seen the light change a little bit. But these are great for days such as today. Like, I don't want to do anything. And these are just prime fragrances for those types of occasions. So again, if you want to check out the ends, the links will be down in the description box below. Please check it out. You know, Bishop got some fire music, love his music, and just again, one of the most comfortable hoodies I have ever worn. Any reviews that I've done on these fragrances, they will be down in the description box below if you want something a little bit more detailed and what videos to watch next, well, whatever pops up on this corner here. And if you like this very video, please make sure to give me one of these as I really would appreciate it. I thank you for your time, take care, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.